Miguel Nunez from 3dmusclejourney.com. We are walking, and I know you guys love, uh, or not love, but are intrigued by the fact that I walk to places. And yes, I'm in California, so we are, we're a bit more green than, than a lot of other places. And check this out. This is one of the perks of living in California. Shorts and a t-shirt in February does not make sense. Mind is blown for a lot of you guys in the East Coast. But today's question is going to be about bringing bringing back up the heat, the metabolic heat. And that's something that uh, Eric kind of touched upon in his last video. And this, this question specifically was about how to reverse diet out of an extended fat loss phase. So not a mini cut, not one of those pre-contest diets that those wacky bodybuilders do, but kind of right in the middle. So, you know, with a, with a mini cut, it's kind of in and out, and for the most part, you're, you're metabolically intact. When you are um, going on a pre-contest diet, you're, uh, you're not the same for, you know, a few months, simply because you pushed your body, uh, body composition to, to those extremes that you need to in order to, to compete. So, with an extended fat loss phase, I would say that a general rule of thumb is going to be you can need about half the time you spent dieting to recover and regain all that metabolic boom that you might have lost. So let's just say we'll take a 12-week diet. It's going to take you about six weeks to get back to normal. So a very easy and simple way to set this up is I want you to take your top end fat boy macros, your fluffy macros when life was good and you were eating everything in sight. So about 90% of that, and then take your bottom end macros, which you ended up eating at, at the end of your, your extended fat loss phase, and find the difference. So we'll say at the end you were at 2300, and in the beginning of your, um, in the beginning of your uh, diet, or prior to your diet, you're at 2900. So there was, a, there was a 600 calorie difference. We'll make it real easy that way. And you're planning to, you know, reverse for the next, reverse diet as they like to call it, for the next six weeks. So you're going to be adding 100 calories for the next six weeks to get back to 90% of your old intake. And that is probably the simplest, uh, most comprehensive system I can think of uh, that kind of lets you guys know at what increments you should add food back in. And of course, you only add food back in if you feel that uh, the data and all the feedback you're getting back from the scale uh, warrants that you do. And again, that's one thing Eric Helms talked about was the fact that you know you want to gain at a rate that's appropriate for you. And a lot of that's going to depend on where you're at with your bodybuilding in terms of, of development. Um, you know, some people are going to take less. Some people in four weeks, you know, they might be ready to, to to go, and they might need multiple bumps in a week. And you know, other folks. You guys might need eight weeks, and that's gonna, you know, that, that's again is gonna differ from person to person. But we'll say about half the halfway point, about six weeks, is about right for most. Uh, one thing I will say is that you will almost right away gain some weight, but you know, a lot of that is just is just glycogen that just wasn't there before. So, you know, uh, be okay with that. And uh, once that kind of gets settled, then it's a lot easier to uh, to see through the murkiness and know when to add calories and when not to. Uh, one other thing is I would say that almost right away I would get my cardio back to, uh, actually right away, I would get my cardio back to whatever I was doing in the off season. So, you know, if I had one, um, one GPP day and then one slow cardio day uh, in the off season and I ended up with six uh, during my, my extended fat loss phase, I shouldn't call it an off season, I'll call it a gaining phase because this is for mostly the non-competitors. Um, yeah, I would get back to two sessions a week. Get right back to two sessions a week. And the only thing I would really focus on is really slowly bringing up those calories to, uh, to where they need to be. Okay, guys, that is it. And we have one more of these. And I think I'm filming a leg workout tomorrow from beginning to end. And uh, that should be pretty exciting since I'm going to you know, go through uh, my system of training and, and how I do things. So... So I think uh, while I do want to give you guys weekly summaries, I also want to throw in uh, from time to time just full workouts. So we'll get that for you guys. Again, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for everyone who participates in the Q&As, uh, everyone who participates in the comment section. Without you guys, this channel just would not run, okay? And uh, that is it. I will go now. 
I am almost there. Where is he going? I can't tell.